All right, pals. We have a... Um, it's probably going to be decidedly much less complicated than the last um, video I uploaded. Um, this is a, a donor board I'm going to be using for this. Um, some liquid spilled on it, and we're going to replace stuff that looks obviously bad. So, you know, water damage, I, I kind of like water damage because well, the MacBook board speaks to me. My rear wheel might not need to even measure anything. Uh, this is not turning on. I'm just going to go ahead and not run power through it right now. Um, I noticed one of the USB-C ports was corroded. So maybe we killed um, our CD32 on this side. The actual back side of the board looks very clean. And the rest side of the board, I mean, it's a little bit, you know, dusty, but nothing crazy. So um, I have a, a new port I'm going to use. We're not going to even bother plugging this in. It's like a $7 part. Don't risk it. Corroded ports can kill your USB-C controllers. Uh, I'm just going to kind of start removing stuff over here that maybe doesn't look too happy. Um, you can maybe check. Yeah, it looks like this guy kind of exploded right there. Let's look at the um, board view. Um, we're looking right here. Uh, let's see. FPB 3V8 AON. So let's see if let's just see if we have a, a BERT circuit on 3V8 AON. I would bet that's it. And this cap right here is probably our our culprit. I'm just taking a resistance measurement on the line. Um, let's see. So yeah, pretty uh, like a hundred ohms. It was like a this is a ferrite bead. I believe so. Normally it'll say ferrite bead. Okay, so this is giving sixteen volts to our touch ID module. Okay, well let's um let's remove the bad things and then we'll grab some good things off of another board. And replace it, and then I think her MacBook will work. Get some flux on here. Oh, that connector doesn't look good either. We'll remove that. Okay, I'm gonna double check on that touch. I think I want to remove this resistor, a couple of fellas over here, and this connector. Um, all this other stuff kind of eh, probably fine. We'll replace it if we need to, but I, I see like a handful of things that just are pretty clearly bad. We're gonna remove those, and then um. We'll use our, our brains after if we need. But right now, I think I can just turn my brain off. That's nice. We're okay with that. We take those.
Um, so we had this burned, you know, connector for the touch ID. And of course we do have some corrosion on the uh, module. It's kind of hard to hold back here. Um, it doesn't really look too bad. We can see kind of some of that pin is charred. I think I can just clean this with a Q-tip and it'll work. Um, if not, maybe we try to, I think I actually have a spare touch ID connector for this that we can use, but I, I just want to make sure those pins aren't shorting together. And assumedly, right, this 16 volt pin just shorted to, uh, to ground. I think that that, that kind of looks like it might be gone. Uh, let's get a little bit of flux on that and just... Oh, uh, you know, I look at, look at my fingers under the microscope. I'm like, oh man, I need to moisturize. Okay. We'll do that later. There's no time for moisturizing right now. Is there a pad there? Okay, it would seem there still is a pad. So I just kind of touched up the solder. And uh, that's probably fine. We'll see. Hopefully. As if that touch ID button is like damaged and internally or something. And this person's kind of shit out of luck for getting the touch ID working. Because Papa Apple says, no, you can't fix that. You got to replace the whole computer. Fuck you. Um, yeah, because really the, the solder joint's fine so it should be making a connection but yeah i mean that 16 volt did short the ground so maybe it killed our you know actual button um probably not we'll see though assuming makes uh something an ass out of you and i okay i'm gonna get the board back in here and then we'll just uh we'll like test it but the board's turning on right now so i, I think we're okay The MacBook lives. Um, we're running power okay. Um, we're just going to go in and test the keyboard pretty much, but I, I think we're we're about done here. The, the liquid damage was pretty isolated. One area on the board, uh, we had like a ferrite bead and then something for the um, touch ID. Um, power button works. I'm shutting it down now. Um, I guess we'll see for touch ID. We'll go through that setup, but I, I think it's going to be okay. Um, this should be a happy MacBook. Uh, this was pretty, you know, straightforward. There was some uh, corroded stuff, and we replaced the the things that didn't look too happy. Um, that's pretty much it. Sometimes you get, um, you know, good repairs like this. So, you know, count your blessings. Because you might get a very troll device on the next one, which is okay. We'll fix those too. I um, hope this helps someone. Have a good day.